why does your wife get irritated and upset with insignificant things like a uh, towel on the bed the toilet seat is not put down like little drops of water on the on the floor or the cup that you leave why does she get upset with it that's the question that i'm going to answer in this video Hi, my name is Valerian and I teach relationship science to create amazing marriages. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what really upsets your wife when you do these insignificant things. What really makes her irritated? So I've divided this video into three parts. First, the mistake that we men make when we see these things, when we see our spouse getting irritated with the small things. The second thing I'm going to talk about is what is the real reason and the third thing is what to do so let us start with the first thing that is the mistake the mistake we make when we see our spouse getting irritated with the small things like as i said earlier little drops of water on the ground or the towel on the bed or after bath or um, you know a thing that is not kept back in the place the mistake that we make is to think that that is what is irritating our spouse. So we are coming out of the bathroom and we are not wiping our feet nicely on the mat and there are two or three drops of water which falls and our wife says something like you know why can't you wipe your feet and why are you doing this and we think that she's talking about the drops of water and we start arguing with her saying that what's the big deal. The towel on the bed, we use our logic to explain to her what's the big deal. The cup is, that is left on the uh, left on the teapot, uh, not back on the sink, what's the big deal? The cup is scrubbed with a different scrubber than this particular one, what's the big deal? So we use logic to explain to our spouse what's the big deal when she gets irritated. Because we think that what she is upset about is what we see over there. That's not true. Then what is she really upset about? And that is the second point that I want to talk about. So when you are, uh, when that two drops of three drops of water falls on the ground or uh, toilet seat, which is not put down or any of these small things, what she is actually upset about is not what you see over there. What she is upset about is basically one thing. That is, she feels that she doesn't matter. Let me explain this. So the first time when you do something, you would have noticed your spouse telling you, don't do that. Maybe in a critical way or maybe that's it. And the second time when you do it, it is not about the act. It is about what she, what she is thinking about you. When you do that particular thing, she feels that I told him once, but he doesn't care about it because I don't matter to him. So the second time when your wife is criticizing you, it's not about the water. It is about the feeling that she's feeling from your action that she doesn't matter. So you got to understand this. So it is not about what happens, it's about what she is feeling. Now the third thing that I want to talk about is if this is true, that what she's you know, criticizing me what my wife is criticizing me about is not what is happening there. It's about what she is feeling. Then what do I need to do? The first thing is I need to make my spouse feel that she matters to me by taking care of these small things. For me, maybe they don't matter. But every time I do them, they make my spouse feel loved. I've seen it in my own marriage. And if you do this consistently, you will notice a smile on your spouse's place, uh, face. She'll start reciprocating to you in actually by saying thank you after some time. So the first thing is she will doing these small things, not because they matter to you, but because when you do them, it makes your spouse feel loved. And it is the small things that we do as husbands that makes, your, makes our spouse to fall in love with us. It's not the big things. Many times that's where we get confused. The second thing is 
when we are uh, when we do something that we know it is insignificant but it irritates our spouse or makes our spouse upset apologize even before she brings up that point so this is the second thing to do so that by mistake you would have forgotten by you know you would have been busy and you couldn't do it and as soon as you realize it before she criticizes you apologize and when you apologize once again you're making your spouse feel that she matters and the third thing to do is listen to a hurt rather than the worse so when your spouse is criticizing you are why did you leave the water here why did you do this why the towel is here how many times have it do i have to tell you don't listen to the words because if you listen to the words you will get confused with the words and you start arguing with them instead of that listen to the emotion listen to the hurt where she is feeling that she doesn't matter and when you listen to those hurts you will be reciprocating in the most loving way so before i end with this video here's a word of caution that is if you had been living in the power struggle stage for a long time then you implementing this for a day or two days or three days it will not work you got to implement it for a month or two months or few months and if you want to get into that kind of discipline and you want to implement you want to know exactly how to implement it then i invite you to attend one of my master classes all that you have to do is go to coachval.co and sign up for this class and once you attend this class you can also join a community called awesome husbands hub and implement everything that i'm teaching you out here and create an amazing marriage the second thing is i want you to go to the comment section and write down what's what's the one thing that irritates what's the insignificant what's the one of the what's one of the insignificant things that irritates your spouse write that down in the in the comment section and how you are going to take care of that to make your spouse feel that she matters and finally if there is somebody who uh needs to hear this please share this video with them and if you have not subscribed to this channel please go ahead subscribe to this channel uh click on the bell icon and if you have liked this video click on the like button so every time when i put up a video you will get a notification so that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one until then as always keep your love story alive bye bye